the Bursa TPR9. Let's check it out. Bursa was founded in Argentina in the mid-1950s by three Italian immigrants, uh, one who worked for Beretta. And when they came to Argentina, they began to develop a number of different firearms and actually started producing guns for Ballister Molina. From that time, in 1994, they began their Thunder series with the Thunder 380, which is, was hugely popular here in the United States and still is very popular. Uh, it's a blowback 380 that's very similar to the Walther PPK. And then the Thunder 9 which the Thunder 9 was accepted by the Argentine military as their standard firearm, replacing the old Browning designs that they had previously. This is the new TPR-9, and it is an upgrade from the Thunder 9. There's a number of features that have been changed on this firearm. Uh, one in particular is the grip is so much thinner, it's more ergonomic. Uh, one of the big things that really surprised me though with the range was how flat shooting this gun is. This is an advancement in their Pro Series. Uh, the original Pro, there's about three different uh, differences with this pistol, and I like all three. Uh, we'll look at that in just a second. First thing we're gonna do is remove the magazine. You do get a 17 round steel magazine. There are two that come with the gun. These are Metgar mags, so they're good and reliable. Uh, check the chamber, and it is empty. First thing we're gonna show is that it does have a decocker, uh, and then bring it up. It brings it into the decock, and then it is a safety, which has a dead trigger. Release, and then you go into double action, and then after the shot's fired, you have single action. So it's a double single action pistol. Now, one thing about that is, a lot of times we've gone to more of your striker fire pistols, and it seems that a lot of companies now are re-releasing double single action pistols. Uh, there's a number of them that have become back on the market and they're gaining a lot of popularity. In fact, a lot of the big gun companies that have released striker fire pistols in the past are now going back and releasing double single action. Uh, there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages, but mainly it's about personal preference. One thing in particular about this pistol is it has an aluminum alloy frame. Uh, over the polymer so it gives it some strength there's some quality to it it weighs a little more typically than your polymer but uh, this is a really proven system and then we have the steel slide which is a very nice finish to it uh, it is a kind of a matte finish this does come in a two-tone as well with a chrome or nickel plated slide and then your standard black frame a couple of things about this pistol though that are different uh, are the modular controls. <laughs> I mean, they are molded into the grip. The one thing though that they've improved over the standard original Pro Series is the grip. The grip is much thinner. I mean, it is a much thinner grip. It's a good solid feel to it. It's one of the things that I did not like about the original Pro Series. Now, I don't have a Pro. In fact, I've only shot a Pro a couple of times. I have a good friend of mine that has one and uh, it always felt kind of blocky. Uh, this to me, for my hand size, is just right. Now one thing is, it's pretty much dedicated to this one grip. Uh, it is a piece that fits over uh, the frame. It's a one piece deal. One of the things about this too is it's not a very aggressive texturing, even though there are ridges here, but here at the back we have nice solid ridges and then here at the front you have serrations. And so really it gives you a pretty decent grip to the pistol. Uh, another thing that's changed over the standard Pro Series are these front finger rests. And they're serrated. Uh, you can put your finger right here on the standard Pro. They just don't have those. 
and then front cocking serrations. So this pistol has front and rear cocking serrations. Uh, great for press checks, of course, with the hammer in the rear position, makes it a little easier. Uh, one thing, too, about the Pro is it comes more narrow out, more like Browning High Power cuts here. Uh, we do have a Picatinny rail section here at the front. Uh, the trigger guard is kind of enlarged, enlarged for gloved hands. Uh, the sights themselves are three dot. The ones in the back are very are smaller than the one in the front, so it gives it a very nice contrast. Uh, one of the things about these sights, too, is that they are replaceable by any SIG sights. So these are compatible with SIG, which makes it really uh, easy to find sights for if you want to put on night sights or something like that. Uh, there is a shelf here, so it does allow for one-handed reloads or one-handed slide racks. Now the bore axis is a little bit higher, more like your SIG. Uh, here we're going to just bring the Glock because it has such a low bore axis. You can see that it's quite a bit higher than your standard Glock, which is one of the lowest. But uh, a lot of guys don't mind the higher bore axis, and, uh, but just to take note. Magazine release right here. It is steel. It's not really in the way. Uh, you do have to adjust your grip somewhat to get to it, but so does 99% of most guns, uh, unless you have really long thumbs. Um, one thing about the magazine is that, or the well is beveled, so it makes it really nice to be able to insert your magazines. Commander style hammer with serrations. Uh, one thing is it has a nice beaver tail that comes up so as the hammer comes back there's not really any danger of slide bite even if you have large meaty hands. Now one of the big things about this pistol to me though is the incredible trigger. Double action single action pistols you can get a really nice trigger with those pistols in single action. But first thing we're going to do is check the double action. It is a very smooth consistent pull. It's heavy, but there is no resistance, grit, or uneven resistance, I should say. It is a super smooth pull all the way out until the break. Once you go into single action, a little bit of take up right there. It's very smooth. Tiny bit of stacking and then a good break. Reset. <laughs> Super, super fast. I mean, that is a super fast reset. We're going to check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brown Ales. Nine pounds, nine ounces. Single action. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Four pounds, 6.2 ounces. Uh, this is what we were getting about the four and a half pound mark. The length on the barrel is four and a quarter inches. Uh, it's about the size of a SIG P226. Uh, it's seven and a half inches in length. It's five and a half inches tall. It's just under one and a half inches in thickness. So it's got a little bit of girth to it. Uh, a lot of that has to do, of course, with the controls, which it has ambidextrous controls. Uh, they're very modular. They're very different. But I'll tell you, the more I'm messing with these, these controls, I like them. I mean, they're just very smooth and fluid. They don't stick out and they're not sharp edges. Makes it really nice for carry. Uh, right here we have our takedown lever. Now one big thing about this pistol, we're going to drop the mag, we're going to double check again to make sure the guns are loaded. Um, one, this is one of the easiest guns on the planet to disassemble. Here's your takedown lever, just release it and the slide comes right off. I mean that is incredibly simple. Uh, we have a steel guide rod and spring and then also we have our barrel, which is a Browning linkless design. And that's all you need to do to field strip the pistol. Full slide rails all the way down the frame. And then here we pick it back up. So that's going to give you a lot of stability. And uh, it's going to let that slide just ride very consistently. The interior looks very well done. Uh, here in the inside of the slide, again, you can see where the proof loads were fired because I have not shot this gun yet but a, a very nice finish. These are made in Argentina, and uh, if you know anything about South America, especially Argentina, there's a very strong gun industry in Argentina, and of course in Brazil as well, but Argentina just seems to do a very good job. And then when you bring your slide back over, just pop your lever, 
you're back in business. I mean, again, guys, that is one of the easiest disassemblies that I know of. We're gonna place a dummy round uh, in our magazine. Check for the loaded chamber indicator. You can see right here, just a touch. Just kind of sticks out a little bit. Almost not enough to notice, but it's there. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for sponsoring the ammo. You get a 5% discount using Such00 on the Freedom Munitions website. And if you don't have a Lula loader, you need one. <laughs> So we took the TPR9 out to the range, and first thing that I noticed was how flat shooting it was. Uh, the trigger is excellent. I mean, even in double action going to single action, it's so smooth that it really doesn't, it makes the transition fairly easy. Uh, and that's one of the things that, you know, is always an issue with double single action. That first shot, that long draw, and then the quick follow-up shots, it can surprise you but because the trigger was so smooth, it just really functioned well. Really, I planned on shooting about 300 rounds and ended up shooting 500 rounds through the pistol because I just enjoyed it so much. I just kept wanting to go back and reload the magazine. Unfortunately, I left the extra magazine here, and so it was a chore just loading those magazines, but even then, I really wanted to keep firing this gun. I did have one malfunction, and uh, once I looked, and especially over the video, uh, I didn't insert the magazine all the way. After that, I had no malfunctions at all with the handgun. Now the price on the Thunder 9 runs about $370 up to about four and a quarter. So it's a very reasonable handgun and you're getting some good quality. And if you want to check out more information, you can go to the Eagle Import website and look at all the specifications. It also carries a lifetime warranty on it. Uh, so, you know, and that'll be serviced by Eagle Import. So that's a great plus as well. And I want to thank Eagle Imports for sending this pistol. It has been a pleasure to shoot at the range. And if you're looking for a good budget-friendly double single action, because typically double single actions are pricey, more pricey than your polymer frame pistols because of the cost of manufacturing, um, I think that this would be an excellent choice. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. TP9R. Okay, it's not the TP9R. Dang, gum it. The TPR9. Um, and okay. uh, one of the things about this pistol in particular, it has an aluminum alloy slide. Oh, switch. Crap. Fools and even a. And Argentina is a 